This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 6. The Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing today on Supreme Court ethics after weeks of mounting criticism and calls for tougher rules. Recent reports revealed Justice Clarence Thomas took undisclosed luxury trips paid for by a conservative billionaire and Justice Neil Gorsuch was accused of failing to disclose the head of a law firm bought a nearly $2 million property from him after he joined the court. It is critical to our democracy that the American people have confidence that judges cannot be bought or influenced. This is not about making the court better. This is about destroying a conservative court. Critics claim new ethics rules for the Supreme Court would violate the separation of powers, but supporters say the rules are needed to improve the court's reputation, with recent polling showing support for the court is at historic lows. Some of former Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens' papers are now at the Library of Congress. There are at least two boxes related to the Bush versus Gore decision that decided the presidential election in 2000. The papers contain notes, drafts of opinions, and other writings on cases from 1984 through 2004. Documents from 1975 to 1984 have already been available. Stevens was born here in Chicago. He retired from the Supreme Court in 2010 and died in 2019. A